While Disney researchers announced they can identify gadgets by scanning their electromagnetic field, you may have missed all the tech gadgets fast food companies are just giving away. The wristwatch that uses skin as a touch screen and the autonomous better than human surgeon. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where another day means another robot built to model actual living beings on our little planet. Except these are cockroaches built to help each other, and it's like you sheeple never saw any horror movies. Clever girl. Doesn't end well. Big surgery news, friends. For the first time, a robot has operated on real living tissue without human intervention. Although one was on standby. The Smart Tissue Autonomous Robot, or STAR naturally, has a 3D camera and the ability to do surgery on that tricky intestinal stuff. It also has an infrared camera, so can theoretically see better than humans can. The Robodoc performed surgery on a pig, and here's the kicker. A human doctor did the same surgery and they found that the robot stitches are more uniform, leaving less room for post-surgery leakage. That means less likelihood of death, so... Terrifying, yet intriguing. In the future, our gadgets will be integrated into our very bodies. You've probably already heard Google filed a patent for a camera that fits into a contact lens, and now something even crazier. Carnegie Mellon's Future Interfaces Group just announced a system to turn your very skin into a touchpad. We can spill interaction out onto the skin, reducing finger occlusion of the small screen. It uses a ring that constantly emits a high-frequency AC current and a wristband with electrodes that pick up that AC signal as it travels harmlessly through your body. When you press a finger to your flesh, the frequency shifts slightly, which the wristband detects. All the team needs to do now is commercialize the system and we'll be playing Angry Birds on our forearms in no time. Also, this could be great for those awkward moments when you forgot your phone. Starbucks after work? Yeah. I need coffee so badly. All right, that'll All be right. fun. Then Talk we can to you catch later. up. Yes, bye. Okay, bye. Hey, do you think Nathan smells like my mom? Oh, sorry. I have to take this. I... Following a rich and distinguished heritage in fast food propaganda, A virtual reality viewer made from a Happy Meal box. Three, two, one. Happy Mother's Day, Mom! Europeans can now look forward to some sick-ass fat beats with their greasy fast food. McDonald's Netherlands introduced a musical placemat for patrons to serve up songs while they slurp down shakes. The McTrax placemat is printed on paper with conductive ink and powered by a small battery. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. It connects Android and iOS phones to 26 digital pads over Bluetooth, turning them into audio workstations while your Big Mac's getting cold. To the menu, I can get you something too. Hey, my head and beast play what you say. First order of business, MC Dizzle should get on that McNugget remix. <laughs> It real needs it. It's real old. And now TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you. The United Arab Emirates is considering building an artificial mountain to increase rainfall. Twitter rolled out its new Connect feature to help you find more accounts to follow. A 10-year-old Finnish kid won $10,000 for hacking Instagram. The EU and the FDA simultaneously announced that they'll begin regulating e-cigarettes. And YouTube announced it will start streaming live TV next year. That sound you heard was Comcast freaking out. Have good weekends.